Now that Seattle has banned plastic drinking straws, you might be looking for a sustainable way to enjoy your favorite drinks. Here with one very fun option, these are so cool, is Jeremy Custer, Custer from drinkingstraws.glass. It's good to Hello. meet you. Nice to meet these you. These are actually really gorgeous. Where did you come up with this idea? Well, it was kind of a conversation my wife and I had. Um, I was a glass worker. It was about eight years ago, and we were thinking, what can we do as a product that's actually good for the planet, right. um, sustainable, and this is what we can do. And you're not going to get yours mixed up with anybody else's because... Right, I put little designs on them. Little designs on it, and they make them just yours. Now, I would be worried, um, if I didn't know better, because I've already talked to you, that it would break. Very durable. We've been doing it almost eight years. We have a lifetime guarantee, um, less than 200 replacements in eight years' time. So Amazing. And she makes, your wife makes, the little cases to put them in so you can pop it in your purse or wherever you want. Yes. Right? These are all organic cotton with natural cotton batting. Very, very cool. So what made you want to do this? Well, like I said, just I was a glass worker. I wanted to, I wanted to do it for a living. And, um, and for the environment. And for the environment, yeah. Are these hard to make? The designs are pretty difficult, yes. A little tricky? Yeah. Um, and I noticed that this one has like one of the little cleaners, so you can make sure you get this really yep. clean if you want. Yeah, they all come with a cleaning brush. They're also dishwasher safe. So we I just can put, put it in the dishwasher? Yep. Awesome. All right, so you brought your equipment. What can you show me? Well, I'm going to make a dog paw. Okay. Or a kitty paw. The only On difference that. is size. <laughs> so what is this equipment? It's gas run, right? Right. So this is a Nortel bench torch. Okay. It uh, runs on oxygen and propane. This and then so I actually cool. have an oxygen generator that I'm using. At home I use tanks as well, but mm -hmm. for here it's, you know, it's better for portability. And you can customize it if I say I want I X, can. Y, or Z. Now since I lifetime guarantee them, I mean there's only certain stuff I will do. Yeah. I can do a lot more designs than I actually put on the straws, but if it's not strong enough I won't, I won't do it. Very good. All right. So how do we get started here? All right. So this is black. These cool tools. I've already pre-made some clear straws because mm -hmm. the process to make these would take a lot of room and it would take a lot of time. And right. So just bring it from this step and I'll show you how I apply the dog paw. I'm oh, a little nervous and shaking. Don't here. worry. We're in good hands. Just don't ask me to help you because I am <laughs> no idea what it is we're doing. Never been recorded doing this. I love the designs. I mean, there's musical notes and... <clears throat> leaves and all kinds of cool things in here that people really like. What a great gift. It is. It's a great stocking stuffer, too. It just fits right in any stocking. How do we get to you guys to order? Uh, well, our website is drinkingstraws.glass, just like our name. And we can see all the designs there. Yep. We're also okay. at Pike Place Market seven days a week. And we'll be at Gobble Up. Wow. So very cool. You've got a long piece of black glass. Is that what's happening? Mm-hmm. And it's not too hot for you to handle, obviously. Not at the moment. So now what's happening? Now, I'm making a point. Okay, I see. And then what I'll do is I'll preheat the straw so that it can hold the color. How long does one straw with a design take of your time start to it finish? It just depends. Think? It depends on if I, you know, if it gives me trouble, if I <laughs> have to fix something. I don't want to make you talk while you're trying to do this. Anywhere from, you know, five to 20 minutes. But I've already done most of the work. Ooh. Did I mess you up? I think it's just not my normal setup. There we go. Now, if you do make a slight mistake, can you just heat it up and keep working? Not always. No. <laughs> That's too bad. I would not be good at this if there aren't do-overs. Well, I have hand rests to anchor in my studio at yeah. home. We put you in but kind this of a, a lean over style. situation. And do you ever take requests? If somebody wants to buy something, can they propose something and ask you if it'll work? They can. Like I said, I won't do it unless I can make it strong enough to guarantee right. it. Oh, I see what you're doing. That looks great. Where did you learn to work with glass? Um, I learned from a friend of mine in Smoky Point, Trevor, as well as other friends. Ooh. To make a correction there. And uh, just over the years, I've been doing it about 15 years. 
Just practice. It seems like kind of a zen thing. It is. I know you probably can't see viewers from your side, but each of the little paw pads have been placed onto the straw, and now he's just perfecting them. And when they turn red, is it just because they're so hot? Yes. This is the point where I fuse it into the glass. And that's what makes it stay on, Correct. despite use. I think it's amazing these things can go in a dishwasher. This one, I have messed up a little. That's okay. You've given us a good demo. And all of us, you know, I think oh. most people, if you want a straw or you don't want a straw, no big deal. But we don't want it all ending up in the ocean. We don't want to be making a big mess for the environment. And there are fun ways to solve this problem. And because this is fairly new, this is a great gift item for this year. So without Absolutely. my hand rests. So <laughs> It's not so, my setup at home. I, so. you, did a, you did a very uh, respectable job there. Now, you're also part of something called Gobble Up. Can you yes, tell us about uh, that? We do it with Urban Craft Uprising. It's yes, the second year that they're yeah. doing it. Uh, this Saturday, the 17th, and it's going to be great. Come on down. We'll be helping restaurants switch to uh, glass straws for free, That's as well as awesome. helping people switch to glass straws. I think once we get used to this, we're all going to love it and we're going to enjoy having a straw that's just for us. Yeah. Just for us. Thank you very much for showing Thank us you. how this is done. So once again, Gobble Up is happening this Saturday, November 17th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle. We have posted a link to ticket information on the New Day homepage. We'll also make sure that you know how to get a hold of this guy, and we'll be right back.